Through the Arduana and Cruza Andretis, he suffered the College of Fisheries and Aquatic Sciences, a fourth-year student currently taking the Bachelor's of Science in Fisheries. Today, I will be presenting my thesis entitled Morphological Identification of Spiny Lobster Perus Panorinus STP in Palawan, Philippines. For the introduction, Pelorus is the host larval stage of spiny lobster. It resembles the adult lobster, however, its body is completely transparent. The main reason why it is also referred as the crystal pelorus. And there are approximately 13 species of panelurus. Seven species are found in the Philippine waters. And in Palawan, there are four species of panelurus found predominant in the collection. Namely, the panelurus ornatus, panelurus versicolor, panelurus Longipis longipis and the Panelurus peninsuliacus. And due to its abundance and high demand, the collection of spiny lobster pelurus is now an, becoming an emerging topic. Many small scale fishers are now engaging in the collection. However, the information regarding the collected species during its pelurus stage is still unknown. Therefore, the study how to document the changes in the morphological characteristics such as the coloration and physical appearance of the crystal perus until distinguishable into the species level. For the materials and methods, the figure here shows the collection sites. As you can see, the highlighted area are the Barangay Tagburos, San Jose, and Pinduya in Puerto Princesa City, and the Barangay Calasitin in the municipality of Brooksby, Palawan. For the sample collection, the samples was obtained from the four collection sites. Twelve samples were collected from Barangay San Jose and five each from Barangay Tagboros, Binduyan, and Calasiquin. For the transport of samples, upon the collection, samples were placed inside a plastic bottle that is half filled with seawater and then transported back to Barangay Sisigan where the samples was observed. For the preparation of the aquaria, a total of 15 small aquaria were made from the half lower part of 1.5 liters of soda bottles. It was washed and then rinsed and stuck for a day to dry out and then labeled according to the collection site to differentiate the sample from each locality. After that, each aquaria were also filled with 300 ml seawater provided with duration to sustain the life of the pelvis. For the maintenance of the aquaria, to maintain the salinity of the water, the study applied the 50-50 water exchange every after 3 days. This is to prevent the mortality of the samples. And to further keep the samples alive, each aquaria were placed into a bigger container with potable water and ice to maintain the 5 to 20 degree water temperature. For the feeding, the samples were fed with cooked muscle meat. However, the feeding were only introduced right after the first mop of the samples during the observation. And the feeding were only given for two hours and then removed to avoid the water from becoming cloudy, which might cause harm to the samples. For the observation and documentation, the samples were placed inside a black container to successfully photo document and observe the changes in its morphological characteristics, such as the appearance, bands in its antenna, walking legs, antenna, and pattern present on its abdomen and carapace. Now, for the species identification, the identification of this study coincides with the present identification and study of Gonzalez and Tanabuchi, 1995, and Priyam Budo, et al., 2017. Now, for the results, for the species composition, out of 27 samples observed, 3 species of panelurus were identified. 16 or 59.26% were panelurus ornatus, 10 or 37.04% were panelurus ornatus longitis, and only 1 or 3.70% were panelurus versicolor. For the morphological observation and species identification, 3 stages were illustrated. First is the crystal stage. At this stage, the pelvis are still transparent. However, presence of distinct characteristics can be observed. For the panelus ornatus, its body is still completely transparent. However, presence of bands in the middle of its antenna 
and the club on the tip of its antenna can be observed. While in the Panalagos lumipis lumipis, its body is also still transparent. However, the presence of unclear bands on its antenna can also be observed. And in Panalagos bursi color, its antenna is different from the first two species since it has an opaque antenna and the absence of bands on its antenna. Second is the pigmented stage. At this stage, the pedulus are now starting to obtain pigments. For the panelurus ornatus, it now has a presence of brown pigment with multiple bands present on its antenna and the club are still attached to its antenna. Next is the panelurus longipis longipis. Its body is now completely translucent, however, the presence of clearer bands in its antenna can be observed. And in the panelurus bursi color, its body now has the bright maroon pigment with multiple white lines on, on its abdomen and a translucent green tail pan can be observed. Now at this rate, these three species are now distinguishable from one another. Now for the identifiable stage. First is the Panolurus ornatus, as you can see, presence of yellowish pigment with brown pattern and multiple bands on each antenna can be observed. Next is the Panolurus longipis longipis, presence of beige pigment with brown shading on its abdomen from darker to lighter and multiple bands on its antenna can also be observed. And in Panolurus bracing color, presence of darker maroon pigment with multiple white lines on its abdomen can also be observed. And now, in terms of their antenna, as you can see, only the Panolurus versicolor antenna is different from the other two species. Since presence of bands can be observed in the Panolurus ornatus and Panolurus longipis longipis. However, if you will take a closer look, the Panolurus longipis longipis has more adjacent or closer together bands in its antenna compared to the bands here in the Panolurus ornatus. And in terms of their tail fan, the Panolurus versicolor have a opaque tail fan, while the Panolurus longipis longipis have a translucent tail fan, white on top and brown on the bottom, and the Panolurus ornatus has a brown tail fan with white spot on each side of its tail fan. Now at this rate, these three species are now identifiable in two species level. Now for the conclusion and recommendation, out of 27 sample pedalus observed and collected from the four collection sites in Palawan, the study were able to photo document and describe the changes in the morphological characteristic of the three species identified, namely the Panolurus ornatus, Panolurus longipis longipis, and the Panolurus persicolor. For the recommendation, Further study for a better understanding of the species identification and continuation of the collection and observation for the other species of Panolus are recommended. That is all. Thank you.